Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We use a breaker bar and a 22 millimeter socket to loosen the lug nuts of the vehicle on the ground. Just go around and loosen them all. Raising support the vehicle, we're using a two post lift. You can use a jack and jack stance. You can use a socket, finish removing the lug nuts, take the wheel and tire off. Wheel and tire is stuck to the brake rotor. Put a lug nut on it. Second one on the opposite side here, just lightly. Take a dead blow, we'll just break it free. Might take a couple hits, might take one hit. Lug nuts keep it from falling off. Let's put the wheel and tire aside. Use a large flat bladed screwdriver. Wedge it in here and then push against the caliper to compress the piston in slightly. Just pull it slowly. This way when I loosen the caliper slide pin bolts, the caliper will slide off without much resistance from the pads. Perfect. Two 14 millimeter slide pin bolts here. You can use a 14 millimeter box wrench. Start with the bottom one, loosen it. If you need to, you can counter hold the pins here with a 17 millimeter wrench. Usually they come free, but if you need to, you can do that. Hold on to the caliper while I remove the bottom one so it doesn't fall. Slide it up and off. We can just put this right here. Pull the old pads out of the caliper bracket, just push them out. Same for both of them. You can use a long uh, ratchet and a 21 millimeter socket to remove the two caliper bracket bolts. You could also use a breaker bar and then a small ratchet once they're loose. I'm gonna get them both broken free before I remove one. Once they're loose, I'll just take them up with my fingers. I'll hold on to the bracket so it doesn't fall. I'll take the bracket out. Need to remove the T30 torque screw that's holding the rotor to the hub. Using a T30 torque bit on an extension and a ratchet. It shouldn't be in there very tight. Come right out. I'm going to spray some rust penetrant between the rotor and the hub and then some down the wheel studs. Parking brake assembly is inside of here and the rotor may be stuck on it. Sometimes these rotors will come right off. Put a lug nut on so the rotor doesn't fall off. Tap it with a dead blow. Use a flat bladed screwdriver. I'm going to pop this rubber plug out and I need to look for the parking brake release mechanism. There's a star adjustment wheel in here that needs to be turned and it will collapse the brake shoes in for the parking brake and pull them away from the rotor. A rust ridge can build up inside here, making it difficult for the rotor to come off. So we need to relax those parking brake shoes and bring them in. All right, so we're going to go in. I'm going to push the star wheel down. I'm going to start to get looser. I'm going to adjust it all the way out so it doesn't seem to want to adjust out anymore. Feels like it there. Seems pretty loose. I know it's not hanging up on the parking brake shoes, so it might be stuck around the hub. 
and I'm gonna hit the rotor some more with a mallet. Give it a couple of good hits with your dead blow. The lug nut keeps the rotor from falling all the way off. Then you can remove the lug nut, take the rotor off. This is what you're doing. You're turning this adjuster wheel down and it's pulling these brake shoes in, releasing them from the rotor. And then when you adjust it out, it's threading this out and pushing them further against it. And you'll have to reset the tension on this after you put the rotor on. Here's our original pads and rotors from our vehicle and our brand new ones from moneyauto.com. Rotor has the same lug pattern, same screw opening to mount it to the wheel hub, same opening to access the parking brake adjustment. Pads are identical in design. These ones weren't in bad shape, but we want to show you how to change them anyways. Comes with new shims on there. These will fit great and work great for you. Put the rotor on backwards. Takes the brake parts cleaner and clean off the oil that the rotor is shipped in so it doesn't flash rust. And just wipe it down with a rag. I'm also going to spray the inside where the parking brake shoes ride. Flip it around. Line up the opening in the rotor for the screw with the opening in the hub. I reinstall the screw. Not a lot of torque on that, just so it's tight. That's perfect. Clean the outside face of the rotor now using brake parts cleaner. Same thing, it has oil on it, it's shipped so it doesn't flash rust, and we just want to get rid of that. I'm going to adjust the parking brake. So the inside of this rotor is a little thicker. You can kind of hear it dragging a bit. I'm going to open it up. Kind of do this just by feel. It might have a little bit of drag, but not too much. This is just so that when you actually use the parking brake inside the car, it grabs you know, pretty early in the engagement. You don't have to go all the way to the full extension of the parking brake handle or if it's a, a foot pedal all the way to the floor. It feels good there. Don't forget to put the little rubber plug back in. Keeps debris out of there. We can reuse the caliper hardware. It's stainless steel, just needs to be clean with some brake parts cleaner a wire brush and a rag. Just scrub it, do the same for both sides. You can also check the caliper slide pins, they should move nice and freely. These are in good shape, I'm going to leave them alone. You also need to clean inside these the threaded part of the caliper bracket. The factory uses a thread locker, so you just want to clean it out, use some brake parts cleaner. We could reuse our caliper mounting bolts. We just need to clean off the old thread locker. So we're gonna use some brake parts cleaner. Spray it down and the wire brush. Clean up both of them. Just make sure you get it all off of there. If you have access to it, you can use a 14 by two thread die. And we'll thread this in here and we'll clean the threads out. but the other method, you can just use a wire brush. And this should thread in pretty easily. You may need, may need to put a sock on it, but it will clean all the junk out of the threads. That's cleaned all the old thread locker out of there. You can see it's all in the, all in the die now. And apply some medium thread locker to the bolts. Do this for both of them. Install the caliper bracket. I'm going to torque these to 129 foot pounds. As it clicks, there's no need to go anymore. 
I'll lightly spray the brake pads with some brake parts cleaner. We don't want any dirt, oil, or grease in the brake pad material. You don't have to soak them, just give them a light spray. A little bit of caliper grease on the ears. This larger curve on the pad is gonna match the curve in the rotor. Just slide them in place, push them into the clips. Just like that. Do the same for the outside pad. We have our caliper here. We need to compress this piston back into the caliper so that it will fit over our new brake pads because they are thicker than the old ones because they wore out. So I'm going to put this on here, the old brake pad. Take a large C-clamp. Shouldn't take much effort. We'll just push the piston back in there. This one's not even that far out. That should be good there. Make sure that this line's not twisted up when you try to do it. Slide it right over the pads. Make sure it gets over the pins. Install the upper bolt. Install the lower one. I'm gonna use the 17 millimeter open-ended wrench to counter hold the slide pin bolt. And I will torque this bolt to 20 foot-pounds. Reinstall the wheel and tire. Thread the lug nuts on by hand. Lower the vehicle to the ground and torque the lug nuts. Torque the lug nuts to 140 foot-pounds in a cross pattern. Before you start and move the vehicle, gently press on the brake pedal. This will bring the caliper, the cylinders out that we've compressed to meet the pads. And you'll feel it start to build up pressure. You don't need to smash it to the floor. Just gently pump it until it builds up pressure. Just like that. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.